Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be doing Palkia and Dialga in Open Master League to kind of celebrate Diamond and Pearl re-release. I'm going to be going to pick those up. Pretty excited about that. Now we're going to be using something pretty interesting as you can see, Flareon. Now first we're going to be pairing it up with Mewtwo for these two Pokemon here, Dialga and Palkia. And the Palkia as a matter of fact is not even going to be completely maxed out so there is that. Now we're going to be pairing them up with Mewtwo first, and then we'll go into Flareon here in a bit. I've used this team before, and a lot of people enjoyed it. Started picking it up and using it, so awesome. What we did use originally for that third Pokemon was going to be Metagross. I just decided, nah, let's just, use, let's just go with Mewtwo this time. Let's just try it. Flareon, folks, put in that work. Now, it can get absolutely walled. It's a Flareon, right? Let's not beat around the bush. No, you don't want to make it. No, it's not the best, but wow, it can pull some stuff off. And if you do enjoy these videos, make sure you hit that like button. It really does help me out quite a bit. So yeah, Flurion is going to be putting in work though. We're going to make it happen. We've used it before. It's a very hard Pokemon to use in Open Master League. Let's just put it that way. So 100% IV, level 50 Flurion. And it's kind of to kind of go with that last video that I made. Going over all of my old Pokemon, Flurion is going to be like my third oldest Pokemon. So it's going to go Dragonite, Venusaur, then Flurion. I do believe. So... Let's go. With that said, hope you do enjoy the video. Hope you're having a great day. Mewtwo Psycho cutting down a Metagross. That's something you don't see every day. Next battle. Now, uh, if you're wondering about my score, like you're getting a little low there, Poke. What's going on? Well, <laughs> you know, there's nothing else to prove. We hit Legend pretty much every season. So there you go. Um, I try to use Spice and your score goes down, right? Simple as that. Like I said, once we hit Legend, we're going to try to have a little fun as we've been doing here teams that i've been using that are not going to be showcased because they just perform horribly or the alignment was just horrible it wasn't so much the team potentially but just the alignment i'm not going to show those and uh, you're going to see what happens in this battle here okay look <laughs> you be the judge like we've discussed before why does it just magically freeze hmm when you're gonna win oh yeah, yeah, yeah you know what i mean you know exactly what i'm talking about so let's see what we're going up against here so we're on track to potentially win this right oh damn damn straight we are but watch what happens here you know it's just go battling it's it's not because i was going to take the win and they thought they were going to win and they don't want to lose no it has nothing to do with that it, it, it's just go battling okay let's get that 100 percent correct and straight and out in the open this is not an exploit this is strictly go battling freezing at the most crucial moment for me to take this win right yeah you know of course, you know, like a somebody who robs a bank, you know, just coincidentally in there with that weapon at that time, you know, it, it's it's not them trying to do that. It's just random. Anyways, for our next battle here, we are leading with Palkia the entire time, even when we put Flurry on on the team here. Met with the Gyarados, we're going to go ahead and swap into our Dialga. Probably not the best idea. Probably could have just stayed there, to be honest with you. <laughs> But I decided to go ahead and swap into my Dialga, in which they're going to be responding with their Melmetal here. So definitely something we don't want to go up against. Superpower will take us out here. Or we're going to survive barely. That's not good, because now they're able to get, any, get some more farm. So that's just not good at all. So we do have some energy built up on our thing here. They did go for Superpower right away, so we have that to look forward to, because they lowered their defense and their uh, attack. So we're going to let this next rock slide go through. You know, it is spammy and it is starting to wear me down. So we are able to hold on to those shields. Throwing the Aqua Tail on the Gyarados just to do a little bit of chip. To be honest now, that was completely pointless. <laughs> Looking back at this, yeah, that was a waste of energy I could have saved and just went for straight Psy Strike. Anyway, they're coming back in here with their Melmetal here. And at this point, with that health, I don't really need to go for Focus Blast. And I also don't want it to get shielded up. So it's probably going to be better for me to just go for the Psy Strikes here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And we're getting a shield out of them. Last shield. So building up a little bit of extra energy here. Just to give me kind of an edge for that next Pokemon. And we will be shielding this up. Going to build up even more energy here as they are not able to get off a charge move quite yet. Going to go for another Psy Strike. And that was, yeah, you know, visual glitch. They swap into their Garchomp. We're going to go ahead and throw another Psy Strike here. And then swap into our Palkia. Oh, okay. yep, a little bit more farm. Lag, oh yeah. That <laughs> oh, that almost made me throw my phone, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm sick and tired of this crap, this go battle crap. And look at their move, didn't even register. So what happens there is, yeah, sometimes I'll get off a move, 
it doesn't register and they'll throw it again. Don't think that they're cheating. It's just Go Battle League being broken. So, you know, Go Battle League. Look at lag. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And in comes Mel Metal. We're able to get to the Scythe Strike and we're taking the win. That was a close, laggy battle. Damn. All right, moving on to our next opponent here, folks. What are we going to see? No, Flareon's going to come in soon. It's kind of like, you know, the grand finale kind of a thing. It's not going to be just a couple of battles. we got plenty of that, right? 23-minute uh, video, excluding the end, about 20 minutes. All right, so Outrage. Going to shield that up. Good call on my end. That would have easily KO'd us. No problem at all. Going to go for the Aqua Tail. And they're going to be retreating into their Melmetal. All right, now I do kind of want to go for the Draco here. As you can see, I am building up to that. Um... So let's see what happens here. So they've already used the shield and I figured, all right, let's just go for it. And of course it's lagging. Oh my gosh. Now it's not my internet, okay? I've got some of the best internet around. Restarted the phone, cleared cache. Well, as far as clearing cache, I don't really like to do that too much because then everything needs to load up back again and it could, you know, equal some sort of lag, some points, especially when you're scrolling through your Pokemon and it has to reload all the sprites. No, thank you. I'm good on that. But anyway, so we're going to be bringing in our Mewtwo here. We can let this charge move go through no problem. Level 50 Mewtwo is pretty tanky. Uh, yeah, it, it's not tanky. Let's just say it could take a hit, right? It's not as glassy as you may think. So we're going to go ahead and swap. Take out their Melmetal with a Dragon Breath. Gotta love it. And what they have in the back is going to be a Excadrill. So this is obviously not good for the Dialga, but we're going to let this go no problem because we will survive that, right? And we're going to go for the Iron Head here. This is going to be pretty good for us. It's resisted, but still doing a lot of damage. They swap back into their Garchomp here, and we're actually able to take them out with Dragon Breath. Man, I love that thing. The Alga is so OP. Bring it in Mewtwo. Now, we shield this up. It Drill Run's still not going to KO us. They're going to need three Drill Runs to actually take the win here. And we're getting to the Psy Strike, taking the win with our Mewtwo. Let's get it. So the Flareon is going to be absolutely putting in work on some Excadrills. You'll see soon enough. So we've got a Garchomp lead here. Do we have Flareon? Still going with Mewtwo. Let's get it. So we got a double Dragon Tail Mirror Match. So ours is not level 50, so we're actually going to be screwed. Yeah, it's not good. Right. But it's still putting in that work. Now, there's a bit of an advantage to this, I suppose, looking at it from the bright side. Definitely not shielding up that. Uh, is Now we're going to be able to go in here and farm. Now, I'm going to go ahead and bring in Mewtwo because Psycho Cut at this range with that health and that Garchomp, we're going to be able to gain a lot of of energy here so they are getting off the sand tube lowering our defense and bringing us down below half health with the debuff defense yeah that's okay we're gonna go ahead and get off the side strike we do have dialga and what are they got one shield here we swap they bring in their metagross here and it's looking a little nerve-wracking but i'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to pull this off i think what we need to do now is get a shield from them now they're not giving it up and we still have two shields here and i do believe i will be shielding this right here yeah it is an earthquake, so absolutely amazing shield on my end. Sorry, not trying to like lift myself up. It's just good call, good call. And they are shieldless. So at this point, what we're going to do, shield this up. Farm down, Iron Head to Togekiss, we win. I don't even... I, do they come back in here? Do they finish this off? No, yeah, they don't. That's what I thought. All right, good game. On to our next opponent here. Valerion, where are you, buddy old pal friend? And still not here. So we have a Zacia. Now, yeah, if you're thinking, well, what about a Zacia? That's going to absolutely destroy you. Yeah, it will. <laughs> it, it does. We need to kind of figure it out. And that's why we put Metagross on the team a while ago, uh, you know, for the Zacians and all the, a few other things. The reason why I don't like running Metagross, Palkia, and Dialga is because of the threat of Excadrill. Palkia absolutely demolishes it. But it's not resisting the moves. So, yeah, it's not the best situation. So they're going straight for the play rough here. We've used a shield. Going to bring in Mewtwo. And I, yeah, I think we actually let this go through. We really can't afford to use our shield here. They do go close combat. Um, I don't know. Maybe they just couldn't get to the play rough. All right. Sounds good to me. In comes Dialga. And I go straight for the focus blast. Ah, eh. Nah, it's not the best. Yeah, exactly. We're going to get a shield. So we're going to go ahead and swap into our own Dialga here. And they have a Landorus in the back. So we're going to go ahead and just go straight for the Iron Head here because that thing's kind of squishy. We don't need to be building up to no Draco Meteor. That'll take out like two and a half of them. Well, yeah, something like that. Anyway, 
Okay, shielding up an earthquake. Good call. And we're taking them out. They still have a shield left. So eh, it's not the best, not the worst. Going to go ahead and go for the Iron Head right before we do get to a Draco. Kind of just building that illusion. We do get that last shield. This is great. Now, if they farm me down, I'm screwed. So they throw their energy here. And that's just beautiful. But I'm not too sure we are actually going to win this. And no, we don't. Damn, that was so close. We actually... Holy crap. Did that... Does... Did they win CMP over a Mewtwo? <laughs> Interesting. All right, anyway, next battle, we're met with a Kyogre. Now, this is like the best lead for uh, Palkia. They're swapping into their Mewtwo here, which is fine. I think we may shield this up. Yeah, Say Shrek does quite a bit. So we're going to go ahead and shield that up because I'm feeling we're going to get a shield in return here. So let's see what happens. We got Flareon, folks. Flareon has entered the chat. All right, let's get it. Let's see what we're going to be able to do with this thing here. So we know that they have a Kyogre, obviously. Uh, Flareon does want nothing to do with that. I mean, if you have energy, shields are down. I mean, you can go superpower, I suppose. But, dude, th uh, this thing is just way too squishy. You can't do anything with it. You'll see. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go Iron Head onto the Groudon here. That's fine. So at this point, I'm thinking, okay, well, we're just going to have to sacrifice Flareon at this point. Because it's almost like sometimes not even playing with an another Pokemon. It's like just playing with the two. Palkia and Dialga. All right, so we bring in Flareon. They get nervous or, I don't know, like retreat because they know what they have to do here with the alignment. We bring in Palkia, and I'm just thinking, unless you build up to Blizzard or Thunder here, all right, well, you're going to throw that Surf? Great. There's no way you're going to be able to get up to that other charge move. Well, you could, but let's just see because we're kind of keeping track of that energy here. And we're just going, we're going. Now, this could have, uh, looks like they're trying to get to a Thunder or Blizzard. All right, so great. We farmed them down. We have a Draco. We're just going to go straight for that. GG's, right? Flareon, I appreciate it. Don't worry, you'll see he's going to be putting in that work. Or I wouldn't have uh, built up the hype like I did. So we're met with a Shadow Mewtwo. Okay, okay, this is a little bit of a different situation. We're going to be hitting it harder, but a Psy Strike is essentially going to KO us in one shot. As opposed to being able to survive it comfortably and still putting on the pressure, not this time around. So we're letting it go, as you can see. Yeah, we do survive with a bit of health, but they come in with a Garchomp and snipe me. Well played. But they locked themselves in here, which I like. Sounds good to me. So we're going to go ahead and uh, bring in Dialga. Now, this is another Pokemon that the Flareon doesn't really want to see. We do have Super Power, which is neutral and is hard hitting, but I'd rather not. Uh, both of the moves on the Flareon are going to debuff it. So we also have Overheat. It's going to be bringing your attack down by two stages. Yeah, that's not a very fun thing to, to happen to you, especially if you're stuck in a bad situation. So here you go. Here's one of your examples, Flareon. So we, we do have Fire Spin. You can go with Ember, which is also very good. Uh, it doesn't charge as fast, but it hits hard as heck. All right, so they're swapping. We're going to go straight for the superpower here to just, you know, bait. Oh, boy, that's just beautiful. Now we're going to go for the overheat. Can we take it out? Well, I mean, <laughs> can we take it out? Of course we will. There's no shields left. In comes the Excadrill, and my little old Flareon is just putting in that work. It is going to get KO'd here, but we're going to come in with Dialga. And, folks, look how close this is. Dragon Breath down. Let's go. All right, well, I mean, it wasn't that close, but I didn't know if they had actual uh, drill run ready to go. I wasn't paying attention. Next battle, Melmetal Leap. Now, this isn't great. No, no, not not good at all. Um, and it's not the worst situation, to be honest. It's not that bad. But, it, you know, I don't like it. All right, anyway, Flareon, even going up against this Steel type doesn't want to see it because of the Rock Slide. It's going to be doing so much in the spam ability. That's the real problem. It's not necessarily the Rock Slide. It's the spam ability in which it's going to be able to just throw them over and over and over again. It's like, come on. I know this is supposed to be some, some like Pokemon Go exclusive style Pokemon, but give me a break. Melmetal's a little bit OP here. All right. Anyways, we bring them down pretty low and Dialga obviously doesn't want nothing to do with this. We bring in Flareon to farm down. We know they're not going to be able to get to a rock side. Great. Machamp. All right. That's interesting. We haven't seen that yet. So we don't want to go overheat here. What we're going to do is shield this up. Build up to two Focus Blasts, or <laughs> Focus Blast, yeah, we'll build it up to two Focus Blasts. Superpowers, Community Day move. All right, there goes one. We're going to throw another one here and then swap into Dialga. I know, crazy, but that's the play. That's all we got going on here. They swap crazy enough. Um, okay. Pro all right, so actually I can't act like, oh, okay. They did that because we have Flareon and Metagross in the back. This is just the way you would play it, so... Okay yourself, Poke. All right, so we're going to go ahead and let this go through because Flareon's going to take over now. So here you go. Here's your showcase. Flareon, yeah, put it in work. In comes Machamp. We're going to simply shield this up. I thought they may have two cross jobs, and we're farming down because there's no point in throwing. Beautiful. Flareon putting in the work. Let's get it, folks. 
like I said, Ember is pretty fun too. We're just going fire spin. So Excadrill, this is what I want to see in the front. Exactly. Let's go. So we're going to be able to almost one shot it with an Aqua Tail. <laughs> Dragon Tail, resisted. What, what, what's, what, what's resisted mean? Anyway, we're going to go ahead and go for our first Aqua Tail. While letting that first drill run go through, there's no need to shield that up. Second one, yeah, you go ahead and shield that up for sure. If they want a double shield, you're, they're setting themselves up to get one shotted by Flareon in the back, as well as Dialga with Draco Meteor. So please double shield if you want. Oh boy, let's get it. Let's go. They swap. Beautiful. In comes Flareon. Here's the problem. If we go overheat, I should have built up more energy. Um, I think I maybe may have done this because I just don't want to get hit by a, uh, yeah, an uh, ancient power. There you go. That's exactly why I threw it, but they were able to survive and get to that very quickly. In comes Excadrill. We're surviving and getting to a superpower. My little old buddy Opalo friend. Attack debuff by two stages and still KOing, of course. In comes Metagross. All right, getting a little sticky here, right? It's not that bad. Uh, we still have a shield left, so we're just going to simply go for the Draco Meteor. GG's. Yeah. Yeah, it's resisted, but uh, level 50 Dialga. Yeah. <laughs> Metagross still going to take a lot of damage. All right, into the next battle. What are we going to see? Flurry on action. Got another Shadow Mewtwo here going on, so let's get it. Doing a lot of damage with that Dragon Tail. My goodness, let's go. Going for our first Aqua Tail. No need to keep building up. We want to threaten them immediately uh, because more than likely you'll get a shield. So they built up a lot of energy. Expect another one of these right after. Yep, there it goes. We will let this one go through. It's going to maybe KO almost. Oh. Oh my gosh. And we're able to get to another Aqua Tail here. Not getting sniped this time. If they want a double shield, be my guest. They're letting it go. Figures. We have no health, so they can't farm us. Perfect. Lugia, Shadow. Uh, this one is actually not X, like, maxed out. Right? Well, maybe it is. All right. So that Lugia is either not the, you know, the best IVs because, you know, you just can't control that. Uh, and it is maxed out with, you know, not the best IVs or it has decent IVs and it's not completely powered up. I don't know. Whoever this trainer is, nice though. Shadow Lugia, I think this is the first one I went up against here, personally myself, other than using it. So we're going to go ahead and swap. In comes Excadrill here, and Flareon is going to have a freaking blast. Let's go. So you have to shield it or everything. All right, you, you'll get one shot it. You need shields for Flareon, period. Period. The only reason I'm using this is because of fire and fighting, and it kind of helps me with the, the dragon and steel type that we have going on here, right? So... Yeah, it's just purely for fun once you hit Legend. All right, so we're taking the win there. Taking out a Lugia. Flareon, put it in the work. Are you kidding me? Let's get it, folks. Into the next battle here. What are we going to see? Exca Excadrill. <laughs> Great. They're swapping into Dialga. We're going to go ahead and bring in our own. Now, if you're thinking, well, well, why why'd you, why'd you go Dialga? You should bring Flareon. You know, you got superpower. This is true. This is very true. But here's the thing. Flareon, too damn squishy. It, 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 you're going to get vaporized by uh, the uh, Dragon Breath. Simple as that. Simple as that. They can even go Iron Head. It's like, oh, you're resisting Iron Head? Steel? Nah, eh, it doesn't really look like it. Anyways, they're bringing in their Yveltal. So we're just going to go straight for the Draco here. I figure they're going to shield it up. That's fine. And we tied. So, oh, could have gotten any better than that. Let's go. Taking it. Oh, under tapping. Very nice. Very nice. So, you know, even people who are not all the way up in rank, you know, they know what they're doing. Like we discussed before, if you run your mouth about anybody who's at a lower rank, they probably have confident issues. Pokemon Go is probably their life uh, regarding PvP. Um, they think they're going to be some sort of sponsored eSport mega gaming phenomenon, you know, fireworks on either side as they walk down the ramp sponsored by Mountain Dew. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm just making fun of them. You get what I'm trying to go at here. So uh, you'll never be that and uh, just stop, right? Uh, people at lower ranks have lives, right? Simple as that. This game's broken. Who cares? Good lead. Woof. Let's go. They're going to be swapping into a Mewtwo. So what we need to think about is Flareon cannot go up against Giratina, period, period. There's nothing it can do unless it, it was pretty low at, on its health. No shields. And we can get off a uh, overheat, then I guess so. But that's still resisted. And when you start getting off these charge moves that debuff you, it's just GGs. If you're especially if it's all resisted, there's nothing you can do. It's over. 
So Ghost Dragon is just the complete hard counter for Flareon. So they're bringing it back. We're going to go Iron Head here. This is great. So we're going to be able to take this thing out. Maybe Flareon can handle what's in the back. Well, pretty much that's what's going to be the case. They're getting off an Ominous Wind. Great. We're going to come back in here with Palkia. Still two shields on both ends here. Let's see if they want to swap immediately. Now the Giratina is now low enough for us to not really worry too much about it. So they swap into Zacian here, but this is getting a little weird. This is getting a little bit weird, folks. This is the last battle as well. So if you haven't hit that like button, make sure you do so. Close combat, lowering their stats. We're going to go for a superpower. Pretty crazy, right? We got to bait them. Oh boy, we got a shield. That going for another one. Let's see if we can get another shield. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me that shield. Oh my gosh. We just got both of the shields with the superpower uh, up against a Zacian using Flareon. <laughs> All right, so close combat. We're letting it go because our plan has worked immediately going for this and it's GG. So let's get it. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And it's time for me to go get ready and then get those new games. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all next time. Take care, trainers. Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic.